So now, remember last time I went off about units of pressure and how those interns didn't know what unit it was? I'm a little bit sympathetic because there's like 12 units for pressure. And since a few of you might be doctors someday, we're going to go over them. Just kidding. You're all going to be doctors. I'm just kidding. Um, until you quit. But anyway, that's another story. Um, okay, so units of pressure. We've talked about the Pascal, which is really Newton per meter squared. You can see the Pascal is kind of useless because it's so teeny. Right, an atmosphere is 100,000 pascals, kind of weird. But you'll also see uh, this. You'll see mmHg. All right, what unit could that possibly be? That is millimeters of mercury. So if you take a barometer and you measure atmospheric pressure every day, this thing goes to about 760 millimeters. And if a storm's coming, it goes down. And if it's really hot, it goes, I don't know what weather does, but it goes up and down. And this was such a standard way to measure pressure, it became the unit of pressure. So medical devices still measure things in MMHG. They also measure things in INHG, just to increase the chance of killing some patient. Inches of mercury, sometimes. Sometimes they just measure in inches. Now, if it doesn't say HG and it's just in inches, that means inches of water. So that's different, right? And those really big units, right, because the column has to be 10 meters tall. No device actually really does that but they still will measure in inches of water. And then some group of people said, you know, a Pascal is really big, but let's just call it a bar. Uh, you know, a bar is like uh, 100,000 Pascals, so it brings atmosphere down to about one. So there's all these units that mean different things. So here, if you ever need it, so, you know, you'll be in medical school and somehow somebody will ask you the pressure and your medical school books won't even have these numbers in it. So here, let me give them to you. That way I can say, hey, it wasn't my fault, PSI. So we talked about how one atmosphere is 14.7 PSI. Um, uh, and of course, we know that's a lot of um, pascals, 100,000 pascals. But if you were to build this device out of mercury, uh, it would go up at an atmosphere 0.76 meters. So an atmosphere is about, oops, I need to find the units is about 760 millimeters of Hg, which, by the way, is also called a tor. So in some fields, we measure pressure in tor. A tor is a millimeter Hg. I apologize for all these units. Um, if you see it in inches of water, it's 407 inches of water. So you'll see pressure measured in inches, promise. Multiple reasons that's uh, obscene. And if you want it in bars, well, a bar is 1 one hundred thousandth one one hundred thousandth of a pascal. So it basically just shifts the decimal like that. So that way a bar is like an atmosphere. But an atmosphere is really big, so sometimes they do a millibar. You know, it just goes on and on, okay? So pressure is a mess. Um, you've actually seen one of these, so let's see. So you may be, oh my God. No wonder everybody's like giving me death glares here. Okay, you may have seen one of these. You're not, I'm just kidding. It's all loving stares, admiration. Um, Thanksgiving's coming. You may go to the house of a very old person, okay? And they may have a weather station on their wall. And it's like going to be cobwebs on it. Well, it's going to look like this, okay? <laughs> it's going to look like this, right? And if it has this little, like, rod on it with a little bit of silver liquid in it, it's a barometer, okay? People used to actually hang barometers on their wall and say, oh, the weather's dropping, you know, it's going to rain, because they didn't have like satellites and shit, right? So everybody had to have a barometer to know what the weather is going to do. Let's stop and uh, keep going in a minute. <laughs>